Hello, everybody. This is the Logic Only Zone. And today, I'm going to be talking about shared psychosis. Um, so, you know, I've talked about psychophancy. Sycoph I've talked about why offense is wrong and, frankly, is just a, a delusion. And now I think it's important that I summarize this trilogy, if you will, by discussing shared psychosis. So it's really important, first of all, to understand what psychosis is. So psychosis is when you basically lose um, connection with reality. Um, and there are various ways to do that, which uh, send you falling into this. It's very important to understand that psychosis is something that does happen at an individual level within your own mind, but that Psychosis is something that can be culturally shared. Um, so you might see this in something like in an extreme example with the Manson family. Or you might see it when everybody gets together for a Trump rally and they're all wearing their Make America Great Again hats and so forth. Um, here I'm espousing no political beliefs at all. I'm just looking at the material uh, realm of human behavior and making my analysis on that. So psychosis is essentially when you do that. Now, you lose uh, connection with reality through delusion and hallucination. So typically and clinically, psychosis is something that happens when literally you're seeing stuff. So like, ah, the FBI is following me. Oh, there's, there's a zombie apocalypse. We got to stop it. Or something like flat earthers um, kind of a thing where the facts of the matter... Um, are not aligned with one's beliefs, that is, it constructs a delusion. So that's the second major factor is that, um, that you're developing delusions because your perception is not in alignment with truth and the facts of the matter. And ultimately, these things develop a natural behavior. The first one being, <laughs> from the bottom up, the first one being uh, hallucinations. Now, um, like I mentioned, it doesn't mean that you actually see something. It doesn't mean that you're seeing things that aren't there. But what happens is the delusion within the mind and behavior, whether it's verbal or physical or so forth, that is unnatural, not in alignment with who you actually are, ultimately manifests illusion in the manner of actual behavior. So um, you might start dressing a certain way, make America great again, or... You know, you might uh, um, start com uh, communicating in a certain way. So uh, this is something that you might see that's very prevalent in Japanese society where the manner in which you communicate is very determined based upon who you're talking to. Are you talking to your friends? Are you in some kind of internet echo chamber? Are you talking to a superior? There are set forms of linguistic behavior and you have to communicate in that way which goes against um, what you are and your own nature, which is every person has their own perspective, their own behaviors, their own thoughts, and they're not enacting that out. Instead, they're behaving in an unnatural way, following these all these social rules and so forth. The point being that when you participate in these manifested hallucinations, when you um, believe things and think things that aren't true, that you haven't substantiated, um, that these things have an effect on your mental health and the health of the community. So what we're really talking about here is psychotic disorder of the individual, but also social psychosis or cult. You know, you see this in cults. So um, it can also be referred to as cult psychosis. Um, and that's something that you see very, very common. So we've got those two things that we see these manifestations of social hallucination uh, in people's language use, uh, physical behavior, clothing, so forth. But we also see um, the disjointed beliefs that people have uh, where they're not critically thinking about it. They're not analyzing it. They're not really trying to get to the nitty gritty, if you will. And this creates a cognitive delusion about what is real and what, what is right and what is valuable and how humans are and what we actually do together as human beings in the human enterprise, which is shared. And everyone is unique and everybody should be themselves. Um, 
And so what we also have is very clearly the distortion of the perceptions of people, but also their thoughts. And this is the key. This is how it begins. Um, and what, what happens is the social psychosis, it, um, when it manifests to a degree, it creates an environment where essentially everyone um, reinforces each other's incorrect perceptions and uh, beliefs and delusions and so forth. And this ultimately creates an unhealthy environment where uh, when we are behaving in a way that is not natural, that is not true and honest to ourselves in alignment with reality, uh, we develop unhealthy uh, cognitive frameworks. We develop uh, uh, mental, uh, mental uh, how, how might I say, um, we develop uh, a kind of a hyper-reality, if you will. So there, there's then this kind of hyper-reality, this layer upon the top of, of humans and their authentic true selves. And this is unhealthy and it creates neurological um, damage, you might say, or um, it essentially creates chaos in the environment. You know, if you go to a rally uh, for, you know, whatever it might be, and you bring a contrasting view and you try to discuss that with people, because they're experiencing psychosis, they're going to attack you, they're going to yell at you, they're going to try to hit you and so forth. And the same thing happens on YouTube, even on a smaller scale, on a scale where you might not expect it to happen. Like if you go on, like I mentioned, uh, a Japanese rock band page or of uh, any other artist or so forth. And you, you're basically like, I don't know what I feel about this or what I think about this. You know, if you think critically about it and you express um, your viewpoint, and that's contrasting to the views of others, because they're experiencing social psychosis, they're uh, ex existing with an unhealthy framework where their perception of reality is not connected with the facts of the matter, which is they're not um, critically thinking about it or thinking for themselves and expressing themselves truly. Their behavior is always psychotic. That means that they're going to attack you. They're going to demoralize you. They're going to beat you down. They're going to stalk you even. I had several people stalk me and come to my pages and try to put me down and say bad things about me, even on my page, on my YouTube page, you can see this psychotic behavior um, within these individuals. And it's, like I mentioned, it's not limited to the internet. It's it's uh, included uh, in the world. You can see this in the corporate environment. The corporate environment creates like a code of ethics and so forth. So these are specific behaviors that they're expected, but you also get that um, in the microcosm. You got your boss, you got your coworkers and so forth. They're going to be expected ways of communicating using your mouth and language to talk about things. There's going to be certain ways that you have to dress. There's going to be um, so forth. And these are the manifested hallucinations of that inauthentic uh, environment that's been constructed out of the psychosis of people. And this might be uh, the leader or this might be through the actual office culture itself, which you get cult psychosis. And if you as an individual choose to behave in a way that is outside of that, or you, you enact yourself and express yourself as a thinking individual with their own uniqueness, which is in alignment with truth, which is in alignment with how human beings truly actually are, then you will be demonized, attacked, uh, you will be violated, you will be insulted, and you will be exiled. So this is the manifestation, as you see, the manifestation of hallucination, and then the, the, the results of the fruit of the happening, which is that when people are suffering from psychotic disorder, um, they behave psychotically. And so this is something that's very interesting to look at, but you're going to see this pop up a lot more in our um, political discussions. And I, you know, looking this up, I saw stuff on, on Trump and his uh, followers in that regard. And you're going to see a lot more in psychology where 
society needs to change because society is constructed in this somewhat of a, na a natural way where people cannot actually be themselves. And part of this has to do with you need money to survive, which means you have to fit in and behave in an unnatural way. So one might say this is a critique of capitalism as well, where in order to survive, you must manifest yourself in this expected unnatural way, which creates psychosis. So you can participate in these things for like a year or two years, but eventually it's going to get to you. It's going to start messing with your cognitive framework um, and it's going to damage you because that's what it does. Psychosis damages you and you begin manifesting hallucinations about uh, behavior, uh, who you are, how you identify yourself, how you look, and so forth. And these are all things that are incredibly unhealthy because deep down in everyone is their true authentic self and you can't hold that in. It needs to come out. You need to be who you are. And everyone needs to celebrate their unique individual nature. You know, we got into this point where, you know, uh, um, you know, it doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter what sex you are and so forth. Now it doesn't matter what kind of individual you are. People need to be embracing of each other, um, not, um, harming others because it doesn't suit our delusions that are constructed, the delusions, which means that people are not living in the fact of the matter of what is actually true, uh, outside of reality and even their natural real self, which is the crusp of how this happens is that people begin behaving in a way that is unnatural to them. And in order for their own survival, they start thinking about it and taking it in like it is true. This is what happens with flat earthers. This is what happens with all of these people, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin fans, so forth, everything. And um, it's also a means to power. So that's what leaders do. They create a psychosis so that they can control the behavior of others. But um, the reason why it doesn't work in the long term because under is because underneath that layer of delusion and hallucination is... The real you and that's going to come out you can't eliminate the human spirit the desire and capacity for one to express themselves and it will always win because you can't kill it and the unhealthy uh mentality that people develop through experiencing psychosis is their body likely fighting back against that their mind fighting back against that and then over time breaking free of that hallucination, delusional behavior. And really what psychosis does is um, it creates social, social isolation as well, which I discuss where this is our thing. We're isolated here and you're not allowed. You're not allowed to come in here. We're socially, they're socially isolating themselves. Um, um, they have a low tolerance for stress because um, you're dealing with all the neurological difficulties of experiencing psychosis. So uh, when there's something that's stressful, like somebody comes in with an alternative uh, viewpoint or uh, an alternative perspective, this obviously disturbs, frustrates, and stresses people out. Um, but it need not be because it's totally okay for somebody to do that. And you just don't, you just shouldn't care or you should respond and talk it out, right? Uh, and then feelings of suspicion. So it's like... When people are experiencing social psychosis, there is somewhat of a big brother kind of a vibe going on where you're, uh, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you're going to be attacked, punished, beaten down, and so forth. Um, and <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy, but if you think about your own life and your own experiences, the things that you've been a part of, and you start looking at this and thinking about this, you're going to see it, it's, you're going to see it's happening that there is this social psychosis going on and that if you stay there too long and you follow all of those um, expectations where whether whether it's how you dress, how you, how you, you know, what you believe, how you talk and so forth, um, you're going to start to become kind of mentally ill. <laughs> if Especially if you have a very strong sense of self to begin with. Um, and then, um, you know, not as important, but... Um, your dopamine levels can be um, uh, damaged um, as well when you're uh, experiencing psychosis, how dopamine is released, because dopamine release is based upon you doing something that um, contributes to your survival. So being part of a group becomes a 
contributing factor to your survival and so forth and the approval of others. This also creates opportunity for people to be bullied, which is something you see in corporate culture and so forth. So just culture in general, where somebody is different, that's why they're being bullied, or somebody is uh, um, expressing themselves when they shouldn't be and so forth, or not that they shouldn't be, they absolutely should be. Um, but that being said, that's all I have to say today. The Logical Only Zone, my good friends, out.